So my name is Jonathan Bernasso. Today we are going to learn about the solo proposal tool that we have here at Power, and we're going to be covering adders. So here is the backend power.com, and you can enter a lead, get a project, and then you can request a proposal. Always make sure name, email, and address are correct, as well as cell phone number. I always say, please give me your name on title or legal name on title. Anytime you have a solar request, legal name on title, email, address, cell phone, um, and a recent PDF electric bill. Once you request proposal, within five, 10 minutes, you have this dynamic URL link under the proposals tab. You can copy this. This is not to be shared. This is for consultants only. Do not share this with homeowners. So this dynamic proposal here opens up a lovely PDF proposal. Uh, the tool is known as Solo. And this is actually going to have a nice little revamp, remodel. There's going to be some better content in here very soon. But as of today, January 24th, 2022, this is the Solo proposal. So always, again, make sure the name is correct. Make sure the address, cell phone number, email is correct, and make sure the right consultant is on the project. Or if it's a mentor, the mentor's name needs to be here. Who's ever requesting docs in California, whoever has the HIS license, they're gonna sign the contract as the consultant, their name needs to be here. Always check that. Proposals need to be within 30 days. So this proposal expires February 8th. If a proposal goes past 30 days, you have to go back to the portal and request a revision. And just put, you need a new proposal link. The reason for that is prices can change, equipment can change, promotions can change. So always make sure you have a proposal within 30 days. Um, Otherwise you will not be able to sign that deal. Okay, so let's just cover some basics here. This design came back. Um, we do what's called a max fit design. So there's panels everywhere. If I click edit here, I'll be actually able to see all the panels. So they cover the roof with panels. If something does not look right, or something's wrong, you need something changed, again, you go back and hit request a revision and give all the details as to what you need to be changed. So we have a max fit design, meaning panels everywhere, and we get to actually see the offset live. So this is 225%, no, nothing's wrong with this. Um, the reason for this is because we actually can go in and remove panels. So maybe this homeowner doesn't want them on the street facing. So we're going to go ahead and remove the ones on the front by clicking them. In California, west facing or afternoon is going to be really good. So now we're at about 129% offset, uh, meaning the last 12 months of what they used this system will produce 129% of that. So I'll click save. But before I do, at the top left here, you can actually see some higher level information under panel arrays. So array one is 28 modules on the back. And those are active, meaning they're green. The tilt of the roof is 25 degrees. There's 3% shade. What that accounts for is all panels have a little bit of burn in, in the first year. They lose one to 3% in the first year. And so we actually go ahead and account for that burn in. And I, I often will tell homeowners that information. If there is shade, it'll show the percentage of shade. It'll show the direction that the panels are facing, which is the same as azimuth. So azimuth, um, will direct the direction northeast, southwest as well. So let's go ahead and click save now that we have a design that's close to what we need. So you can see that we have an 11.2 kilowatt system. 
um, because we have 28 panels and they're 400 watts each. And they're also black on black. So they're more aesthetically pleasing. So if you take 28 times 400 watts, it's 11,200 watts system or 11.2 kilowatt system. The size of the system is the most important when comparing apples to apples or comparing other systems. Another competitor might give 34 panels and the homeowner's like, oh, they're giving me 34, but they're only 300 watt panels. So you have to make sure to know how to compare systems apples to apples. The estimated annual or yearly production of this system is 16,900 kilowatt hours of electricity. And if I click show details, again, you can see the modules that are active, the direction or azimuth, the tilt, the shade, and then that equals the sun hours. Depending on your state, depending on shading and direction, this number can change. You do kind of want to check your shading and your tilt to make sure they're fairly accurate and there's nothing wrong with these numbers. It even breaks down the production per month, which is pretty cool. 800 in January is the lowest, 775 is the lowest, and it really peaks in July at 2000 kilowatt hours per month um, in July there. So you can see the monthly production broken down. And this number guys, this is from PV Watts. That's one of the many areas we get our data from. So this is over 40 years of weather data, Mr. and Mr. Customer, based on your longitude, your latitude, your home, your direction, and weather data in your area, we can confidently estimate that this system will produce this much energy. We do not overpromise, like other companies might, and tell you that this is going to produce 19,000 or you don't need this many panels. We want you to have a good experience and produce enough energy so that you're not left with a big true up bill at the end of your 12 month period. And then we have the modules, which we can change here in just a second. And we have some in, uh, inverters. Right here, we have the end phase inverter, the individual micro inverter, and there's 28. But I'll show you how we can select different equipment as well here. This is in blue, the homeowner's usage. So if you click one of the bars, you can actually enter the usage month by month. You always wanna make sure you enter the right usage. Get the electric bill, look at the 12 month graph, call the utility, have the homeowner go on the website, whatever you need to do, work with your mentor leadership, to enter the right monthly usage for your homeowner. So this homeowner is using 13,100 kilowatt hours per month, which is in blue. And then in yellow is what the solar will produce. So most of the months you're building up a credit. The solar is producing more than you used. In other months, one, two, three, four, five, you're touching what or exceeding what the solar will produce. So you're using more. Um, that's why in most markets, there's a 12 month true up bill, but work with your local mentor if you don't understand your utility and your true up bills. So moving down here, we have our offset. This is what the system will produce in relation to their last 12 months of usage. Then we have the current utility bill. Um, and this is based on the cost per kilowatt hour. So the system generally knows what the utility is charging in that area, but it's always up to us to double check that number or check it on the utility bill or ask the customer how much they pay per month. So if we click here, 29 cents a kilowatt hour, we can actually change the average price they're paying. Maybe they're on a discount plan. Maybe they're an Edison employee and you need to put 30% off, 23 cents a kilowatt hour. You could also just put the average monthly dollar amount as well. Now, this is generally by default 
assuming a 4% annual increase, which is conservative. A lot of utilities go up 9, 10, 12% per year. But just at a 4% default escalator every year, their utility, if they're paying 318 per month, in five years, they could pay 386. In 10 years or 15 years, Mr. Homeowner, you'll be paying 570 on average per month. So this is a great tool to show everybody. Um, now I have it on a cash right now, cash price, but that's why it says there's no payment, zero dollars per month. In California, we can show a ton of savings. So over 25 years, based upon a 4% annual escalator, you can save $128,000 if you pay for this system cash. So let's keep going down. The cash price is 36,000. There's a 26% federal tax credit right now. So the net cost is 26K. And the federal tax credit is also up here. Go through a few more things. It's like the analogy of saying, would you have liked to lock in your price of gasoline 20 years ago? And that's what you can do here with solar. Whether you finance it or whether you pay cash, you can lock in the price. So as you see, your savings just keep going up and up and up. And when the solar's paid off, whether it's loan or cash or the full 25 years or 10 years or cash, you immediately have a lot of savings. There's more numbers here. If you were to stay with your electric company or you switch to solar, your current average electric bill um, and your average bill in 25 years, the cost of doing nothing. So there's tremendous savings, especially depending on the state, like in California, when people go solar right now. These are awesome. This solar system, based on a Berkeley lab study, is going to add approximately $46,000 of value to your home. And it actually has the source. You could click on it and show the customer in real time the Berkeley lab study. And I always say, imagine selling your home in 10, 15, 20 years with a paid off solar system and a great warranty. What do you think the prices of real estate will be in 10 years? What do you think the price of utility will be in 10 years? Of course, 46 grand would be the home value added. And if they're into the environment, renewable energy, it's equivalent to planting 280 trees in your lifetime. Um, it's likely the, the most impactful thing you could do for the environment in your lifetime. And it's like offsetting eight tons of CO2 out of the environment as well. So great facts here to click on with the homeowner. And the process is simple. Once you've showed them the savings report, you gotta see if they're approved for the loan, sign off on the agreement, the documents, the loan documents. We're gonna schedule a site survey after everything is signed in one to three business days. We can do a virtual site survey now, which is amazing. Um, or we will schedule a site survey Give us a week or two, we'll get you the designs and plans. If you approve them, we'll go get the permit. Some utilities can take four to six weeks to approve a utility uh, for the permit. And then we will schedule installation. And then we will make sure the system is inspected and approved by the city and by the utility. And then it often takes one to three bills to switch over to a solar billing period and to start to see the credits reflected on your bill and you can monitor the system. At the very bottom here, we have some really important numbers. The utility, their annual bill that they're spending right now is over $3,800. They're consuming over 13,000 kilowatt hours and they're paying about 29 cents. This proposal is assuming a 4% annual utility escalator. You can also edit their current rate plan and the post solar rate plan. So schedule D or domestic in California is a tier plan. 
that's not available when you go solar anymore. Net metering 2.0 or beyond requires time of use. So post solar, you have to go to a time of use plan. And the utility company, you always wanna check this. It is SoCal Edison, but make sure that you have the right utility. It goes over the system, the production that the system has estimated. And this is neat. This is the annual degradation. Because I'm using an REC panel, it's only showing 0.25% decrease per year. REC guarantees 92% power warranty in year 25. It's the highest in the industry. It's right up there with LG and SunPower. So REC panels are truly amazing. If you were to switch this to another panel, the degradation would go up a little bit, which impacts the production over 25 years and the savings or the effective rate that the homeowner is gonna pay for their electricity. On this cash example, you know, this is amazing. They're going to pay 6.6 .6 cents for their energy over 25 years. Right now, they're paying 29 cents. Um, so this is very important information down here as well. So let's go ahead and go back up and we'll review the loan options. So if we click cash, we can actually see all of our loans. We have good leap which was Loan Pal, different years, different interest rates. And we even have flex pay, 18 or 36 months, gets them a lower payment. And we even have alternative Goodly, which is for FICO score 600 to 650, if they have a lower FICO score. So if we put this on a 25 year 1.49 loan, Let's go ahead and hit update. It's a $150 payment. That's cutting their electric bill in half <laughs> and giving them 129% power. I mean, that's pretty amazing. The savings is now $100,000 over 25 years, assuming that they pay 153 in 20 for all 25 years. You can see the price went up because there's a a dealer fee or there's a cost to do this loan. This is a crazy loan. This is better than a mortgage loan. So 153, if they do not give back the federal tax credit within the first 18 months, they literally pocket $18,000 federal tax credit. Make sure they consult with a CPA. We are not tax experts. If they do pay federal taxes, they have income withheld, W-2, they own a business. Um, they can benefit from a federal tax credit. It's dollar for dollar, it's not a deduction. But again, always consult a CPA. If they pocket the 13 grand and do not give it back with most of our loans, it goes from 153 to 209 per month, which is still over $100 less than what they're currently paying these rates are locked in. You're owning something. You're paying off an asset. You're controlling your price of energy. You're adding home value. You're getting net metering. You're getting a tax credit while it's available. You're helping the environment. Even if in Florida or Texas, they're currently paying 160 or 170, or I'm sorry, 140, is this still worth it? to control their energy, to pay off an asset, to lock in their rates like gasoline. Um, so no matter where you are, even if it's a bill swap, this makes a lot of sense. Some people ask, well, Jonathan, my homeowner wants to put down a down payment. They are allowed to put down a down payment in the first 18 months, even beyond the 13 grand. The loan reamortizes. So if they put down more than this, the loan could go lower. If they put down less than this, five grand, the monthly will end up somewhere in between. So the, the loan payment reamortizes after 18 months, depending on how much you give back. Now, if a customer really wants to give you some upfront money, you just click the down payment update button. This customer wants to give us $15,000. 
So they got a discount because we have cash discounts don't have dealer fees. So the total cost is 45 now. The down payment cash due when we order parts and we schedule installation, they have to write us a check, they'll get an invoice, is $15,000. So the loan is only 30,000, but the tax credit 26% is still based off of the overall cost, which makes the net 33K. The payment's gonna start at 90, but if they give back the full tax credit, the payment could actually go down to $74. And this is with a down payment, a cash down payment up front at time of signing. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Most people do not do that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at all the adders that are available to us. So I'm gonna click the hamburger button, the three buttons at the top right. And here we have a lot of important things. We can click pricing and see that there's a base price per watt. This is gonna be going down in California this week, uh, probably about 10 cents. This is a little bit too high. And this is essentially the construction, the labor, the racking costs, the permit costs. This is all inclusive of those items. And it's a dollar, dollar 13. In some markets, it could even be as low as 85 cents. With these modules that we picked, you can see the price. In California, we have some sales tax. The inverters are 35 cents per watt. We have a one-time fixed fee project management of $750. We have a warranty reserve, $250 gets put away with every project we sell. And that's so power will always honor the warranties regardless as if we're in business or not. We have a freight charge to help ship all of the equipment around the country. My margin, I'll show you right now, I have it a dollar a watt. We have a big dealer fee for this 25 year 1.49, the best loan in the industry with the best lender, one of the best lenders. And so we're selling this about $4.58. Uh, which is, you know, close to what Sunrun sells their systems for here in California. So let's go ahead and now click adders. So adders, there's a lot of different adders in here. And again, work with a mentor leadership if you need help, take some training. We are allowed to do a homeowner rebate up to $5.99. So you can send your homeowner a check up to $5.99, they will receive it four to eight weeks after installation. And this does get added into the project cost. So adders get included into the project. If you're in certain rural areas, if you're in the border of California and Oregon, if you're out in the sticks or the boonies, you may need a travel adder for one of our teams and crews to drive out to that house. All of that info can be found in Power Knowledge Base. You can do miscellaneous electric work, concrete cut and patch. If we have to trench through concrete, oftentimes it's for a ground mount and they actually have to break up concrete and then patch it back. You know, 10 feet of that is $1,000, $100 a foot. We have an extended warranty, which is amazing. Solar Insure 30 years is the one I select for every single project. 30 years parts, labor, roof warranty, even the penetrations on the roof for 30 years, no deductibles, it's transferable. Um, it's the best warranty in the industry backed by a $10 billion insurance fund, solarinsure.com. They always contact power no matter what, but this is just double protection if anything happens. With Enphase, it's slightly less expensive. With Solar Edge, it's a little bit more for the Solar Insure 30 year. There are other adders in here as well. Um, the Solar Edge backup interface. If you add a um, battery or energy hub, you need to add this item. We are getting a new SolarEdge battery very soon. So stay tuned, there'll be some changes here. 
Dirt trenching, again, if you have a ground mount, maybe you need a hundred feet of dirt trenching to get the conduit from the, the ground mount solar all the way to the electrical panel. So always add some dirt trenching. We have roofing work. If you are, reach out to our roofing department, roofing at power.com, maybe you're gonna add a roof onto this project. <coughs> Excuse me, $12,000 of roof work. You need to make sure you know your loan limits, your allowances, um, and know if you can add a certain amount of roof work. But we can add roofs and we can finance them and it's, it's pretty darn amazing. So you can add that. Attic run, if the conduit, you do not want to be exposed on the outside of the house. Usually they hide it and paint it. You never see it. But for whatever reason, if someone wants it in the attic, if it's possible, if we can fit in the attic, if we can access the attic, it's not guaranteed, you can add that cost. Electrical adders, this customer may need a main panel upgrade. If they don't have a 200 amp newer electrical panel, they might need an upgrade. So $2,500. To be determined is if it's necessary, then go ahead and do it. If it's not necessary, let me know and I can either increase my commission or do a change order and decrease the price. Required means they want it no matter what, if it's needed or if it's not needed. And then there are additional items in here. A D rate, if we need to make space and we need to have a system that back feeds more, then you need to have that charge on there. Same thing with an RMA, GMA. It's very similar to a line side tap. It could avoid a, a main panel upgrade by doing a line side RMA, GMA. And sometimes you can also avoid a main panel upgrade by just doing a sub panel as well. So always buffer the margin. If you think they need it, always get a picture of the electrical panel before you present this. Work with your mentor leadership, solar pros, and add some margin if you think it's needed. If they don't have a 200 amp, you definitely want to make sure they have a 200 amp, depending on the size of the solar system. And with the electrical panel, if it's not externally mounted, then we do need it to be somewhat recessed, right, in the wall, meaning the stucco and the paint, you want it to look really nice. There's a little extra fee for that. Usually it's $300, but it says $500 just in case. If you're doing three or more arrays, three or more mounting planes, different roofing planes where solar is going installed, I do recommend always add the multiple array adder. Mounting adders, very important here. We have concrete tile roof is a little bit more. We have flat roof and we have ballasted, that's flat roof also. If reverse tilt is possible, we have foam roof, we have metal roof, clay tile, slate roof, and ground mount as well. So make sure to always select the correct mounting adder depending on the type of roof. If you need a inset comp out inlay system, if there's true clay tile or stone coated metal and you still wanna do solar, reach out to roofing at power.com. You have to get a specialty roof quote if you're working with those roof types. Sometimes there's extra ele electrical engineering. We do have end phase batteries right now. So we're gonna train on this tomorrow, but there's sunlight backup, or you could do a three kilowatt battery. The most common is one battery uh, with a three, three kilowatt hours. So, so the 10 kilowatt hours. So they can have a end phase battery with a load controller, with a sub panel, the extra wiring, the extra parts, the extra labor, 15,500. And I just wanna point out that the batteries do have some margin. So depending on, again, the city, state and sales tax, I like to say in California, there's about $2,000 of margin which means that's $1,400 to your commission. We make 70% of the margin. So here we go, one battery, two battery, three or four batteries. You can see the margin potential. 
And that means that we make 70% of the margin. So the batteries for end phase here do have commission built in. And then there are additional Permit costs, if you wanna add that, structural engineering, I never do those, they're there though. Inverter in garage, if, you, if it's possible to install in the garage, most people don't do that. If the roof is very steep, over 33 degrees, it requires an extra day's work, extra labor, harnesses, straps, sometimes a, a man lift or a scissor lift. So there's extra costs for that. Critter guard, if, you're in like an area that has a lot of pigeons, sometimes Victorville, Fontana, high desert. Very, very rare. Less than 1% of my jobs ever have pigeon issues, but you can add um, linear feet. So you have to cover the whole array with critter guard, usually around 900, maybe up to 1600, depending on the system size uh, is the cost for a critter guard. Tree trimming. If you're financing it, if you have a landscaper, you get an invoice. I believe you can go up to like $2,500, upload the invoice to power. Power could pay the landscaper. I recommend avoiding this. Do it on the side. Get your homeowner to do it. Hire your uncle. Do what you need to do. Keep it outside of power is my recommendation. Have your homeowner do it. But if you have to, we do have the ability to add tree trimming into the proposal. There are some energy efficiency kits that apply. Check knowledge base for more information. Um, solar edge EV chargers. If you're doing a solar edge inverter, you can add an EV charger here. I believe they may be out of stock. Um, so always check with pre-sales department. There is another brand called Juice Box uh, that you can sell if you're doing a solar edge and you need an EV charger. We have more trenching through rock formation. Uh, so if there's some gravel, rock, things like that that need to be trenched on, it's a little bit more worse than dirt, but not quite concrete. That's here too. And so the most important part, uh, thanks for going through that, is the margin, the most exciting part. That's what we make 70% of. If you notice, I have it at a dollar per watt or 11,200 bucks. So we make 70% of the margin. So this commission, ladies and gentlemen, is $7,840. If you can cut someone's bill in half, you, in California right now, you can make $7,840 with some of the best equipment. So if we click on equipment, you can see that the RECs are 67 cents. If we want a cheaper panel, Hanwha is amazing just 49 cents, black on white. Canadian solar, a little bit less. 390 watts, black on black, amazing panel. 58 cents a watt. We have LGs as well. In some markets, we have Mission Solar. Always keep an eye on what products are here. I personally love the RECs. No one is giving an REC panel some of the best inverters, the Enphase, IQ7, IQ8s, 30 year warranty, some of the best loans in the industry. We also have Sunlight Financial. We have a 12 year 0% interest rate for Christ's sake, right there. Not many companies even offer this loan. 246 a month, they're paying 318, paid off in 12 years or less. And you again get to make $7,800. So the margin is in the adders here. We can change the equipment here. If we switch to Canadian solar and solar edge, for example, we just save the customer some money because we went with a more basic panel and we went with a little bit more of a basic inverter. So it's up to you. This is all your business in a box. This is up to you to price it. If you need to work with your mentors or leadership, if you need to know what other companies are selling at, this is really up to us. So if I were to switch this to cash, 25K, I'm still making my $1 per watt. I'm still making my $7,800 
margin. All right, a few more things and we'll finish this training. Rate plans, as mentioned before, we have a pre-solar rate and a post-solar rate. So always make sure those look right. We have that utility escalation. 4% um, is currently the maximum that's assumed in this proposal. If you need a roofing proposal, uh, reach out to roofing at power.com. If you need to sign the project, you can click docs request. And this is for the solar agreement. In California, there's a CPUC disclosure. And if there's a net metering utility interconnection agreement, this is all three. Make sure to enter the right name on utility bill and enter the account number and meter number. This is important so that the net metering interconnection document is filled out correctly. You can literally request docs and sign it right here. I always recommend exporting this to PDF. Save this as a PDF, save it on your computer, email it to the customer. You can always go back in your email and search what you sent them. You can share this dynamic link though. So if you share the link, this is the customer facing, it doesn't have the pricing and all that. Whatever is on the proposal is what they're going to see. So just don't go in and edit it a lot if you don't want them to see that. I always recommend save it as a nice PDF and send it to them. And then one of the last things here, if we are doing a loan, of course, we can qualify the loan right in here. Good Leap is a soft check. Last four social, date of birth, income, hit submit. And within a minute or two, you'll know if they're approved, a conditional approval or decline. And you can literally click send loan docs right inside of the solo proposal tool. So you got your loan docs. If it's Good Leap, sign docs, take a screenshot, upload it to the power.com assets portal. And then once you sign the agreement and the loan doc, one to three business days, Power will do a welcome call and then the site surveyor will reach out. If you can do a virtual site survey, check that out, make sure to do that. It's expediting our processes very fast. Um, so that really is a review of Solo and the adders. Also, just to point out, if you go to Power University, you can find a homeowner education deck. So I always recommend without fail, always show a homeowner slide deck first, then show the savings report and then close the deal. Um, whether it's on Zoom or in person, you really have the best tools to control your business and sell an amazing deal. So that is all I have for us.